Seriously. Okay, back from lunch. Yeah. Ugh. Oof. RVs makes good hamburgers. Okay. Everybody seems to have a surface grinder lately. Uh, I got this one for a while, and uh, you know, so I don't know how many years, but anyway, who counts? But who cares? Uh, this one I haven't been using it for uh, for a while because uh, there's some issues with the uh, wear bands on it. And uh, that's where we're addressing it. Philip and I are uh, dismantling it. That we found uh, material to replace the bands and everything. He just helped me uh, maneuver the uh, the little beast. Yeah, yeah. Two fingers. It's easy. Two fingers. Yeah, yeah it's lightweight. It's a two-ton beast. Yeah, two fingers, one each. No, two-ton beast. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> you need a cue card or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much lunch. <laughs> okay, I'll have to continue. Hey, we don't like two monkeys in front of a machine. <laughs> anyway, it's a two tons beast, uh, eight inch, uh, eight, eight inch wheels, and with that, the one I got it, I got the provision of wheels like for I don't know the next thirty years. Um, coolant facility. The wheel there's got uh, very large. Uh, no, no, numerals with you know the, the the spacing is pretty wide so like a uh, half a thousand per division and also we get the little vernier scale that gives you one tenth per division mm -hmm. with uh, rough adjust you know vernier and fine adjust I'll show you that closer I'll do the Vanna White okay no <laughs> <laughs> Norton <laughs> you also look a little bit like uh, and uh, the carriage is uh, with a pulley there cable driven each cable goes at the end of uh, the carriage and uh, one V one V um, V band one flat band uh, auto lubrication uh, this way is like uh, it's it's heavy, like uh, it's a it's a big one. That's tight. In the small world, I mean the smaller uh, in the world is the small ones. Mm -hmm. And underneath here, uh, something that just about never wears. How oh, you call that uh, plastic stuff? Uh, me night, I think. Plastic. So I think it's me night. Me night plastic. I mean it's there. I mean it's just unwearable. I mean it's just about maintenance free for. Uh, you know, even even uh, last longer than the, you know, uh, steel, like a lubricated surface or uh, cast iron, uh, just whatever. I mean, it's it's almost there forever. So that little machine was built to uh, really last a long time, and uh, when it's in shape, it does like very good finishes, and uh, they, you know, it's state of the art. About sixty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's probably better than some of the stuff today. So. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure if I'm, my memory is right, this machine is uh, prior to the uh, to 1960 or 70 or something like that. It's pretty old. I'll find the date. If I find it, I'll just uh, write it down at the bottom of the screen. Okay, that's it. You've seen enough. You've seen enough of the two monkeys. That too. <laughs> Bye. Oh, second. Okay, <laughs> let's get serious. This, <coughs> this carriage is rolling and rollers and wear bands. So, coming out. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. Hey, that's it. And, uh, oh boy, I guess you want to be closer. Eh? Yeah. There you go. This, uh, Grinder works with uh, roller bearings like that. We got a pair of bearings at uh, 45 degree here, you know, from the uh, the flat plane, 90 degrees within each other. This is a V groove, like uh, in in depth, and this is a flat groove here, where the bearing slides. They're held by uh, some kind of a uh, just some some locator there to uh, keep them. Uh, in place, same thing here. This is nylon, and the wear bands are right underneath. They're 
you know, use a screw and you can remove the wear bands and put new bands off. The, the, this grinder virtually like eternal as long as you keep on uh, maintaining the, the bands and the platter which I'll show you in a few minutes have the same uh, hey hands Smart. talking hands I need a platter talking a platter hands. yeah hey, sure platter is like lunch it makes food, me think of lunch food platter we, we never say stupid stuff no no no, no. we never say clever stuff <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> this is Hi Tom, this is a heavy duty food tray for, you know, never wear it out with your hands. This one. Okay, this is uh, Mr. Pete Light's welding corners. This one's uh, welded. No, not welded. Braised. Braised, yeah, I would say more like that. This is pretty heavy duty too. So, there's one for Mr. Pete and there's one for Tom. And the platter is, uh, you know, moved back and forth with this uh, by wire there's the, yeah there's a set of wires they're tensioned spring tension plus no not even spring no tension. there's no spring there's tension. no spring there's no spring sorry just they're held with this adjustable same thing on the other side yeah adjustable tied up there and this is moved like with the handle there yeah so yeah see there's a little loose here at the same time I will do some fixing out a little bit because there's a little uh, backlash in this thing there. Yeah. So maintenance time on this. These rollers are uh, mainly in good condition. If there's one, if you lack lubrication, sometimes they might just uh, slide and not roll. So there might be some wear on that too. We'll have to uh, check this out. And if some rollers aren't good, we'll have to, uh, you know, make them or. Uh, get them or whatever okay lately I seem to be doing my see uh, who's got the dirty hands yeah yeah, yeah sure <laughs> just, who's got the dirty rag seems like uh, I'm doing my videos in two parts so there's gonna be a disassembly part today so the wear bands are just held there with screws on the end like this you got the uh, Okay, they're all the same, so there's no uh, no worry about placing them. There we go. Oh, that you I'll let you have your end soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. sure. Not that hurry. There you go. Leave me the hard ones to do. And uh, we got the corresponding ones uh, on the uh, top platter. There we go. This is one band, and uh, this one, yeah, you got no, uh, not not much wear in this one. I know there's some that with uh, much more wear on them. You know, before I got that machine, someone rolled it with uh, no lubrication, or the uh, or dirt got there, and the uh, rollers are just like slid instead of roll, so they yeah, just you can tell you got uh, got some more. Yeah, somewhere on that right there, middle part. And uh. <laughs> Fuck, gosh, <I'm. laughs> hey, gosh, okay, I'm going to be uh, measuring some ends that uh, have no uh, no rolls on it, no nowhere. Just want to make sure that uh, go back to the original uh, original measures. Oh, but I fast forward on this. Quick. Bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah, I clean the anvils. I use some 80 grit uh, sandpaper that does a marvelous job. There you go. This is zero on my Muti Toyo. <laughs> well, we think it's sure, a Muti Toyo. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> At the price I paid for this with uh, another tool, like I had about $5,000 of tools for about 300 so I'm not going to say that. I would say that's ten thousand. Ten thousand will be a, a great buy for this. And the, the back big, one the same. The bigger one, the, the, I'd say that's thicker. We'll see. Let's get a measurement on the unworn area. Oops. Fourteen point one hundred and forty 
143, 142. 14.3. Give me 14.3. 14.3 thousandths. Okay, let's flip this over. And we got more bands there too. Okay, let's see what... Uh, You're going to California, so what is this, the Beach Boy band? Or? Oh, the bands. Uh, this one here, this one's got some damage on it. There's you go. This is the this is the one with the damage. Yeah. Here it's uh not very visible though. They they all feel cut though. I don't know I don't know if that's the way they come. No, these ones are damaged. Because they, they feel like they have a a groove in it. A cup to it. Not a groove but a a cupped? Okay no the cup not bad but the these are damaged here, see? They're cupped, plus, I don't know if it can be uh, shown on the camera. Oh. We see some damage on this. There you go. This is more obvious damage. It's almost cracked right through there. It's got some pitting in there, and it's got irregularities. So this is this is definitely needs to be uh, need to be changed and uh, yeah you see oh yeah you see that the the, uh, the dip in the middle this this is going to be uh, split splitting in two very soon or just that that needs to be changed so that's the uh, main damage on these uh, these bands because uh, needed to be cleaned probably sometime before I got the machine though uh, needed to be cleaned and been neglected and the rollers just slid uh, instead of rolling so uh, that's what caused the damage and uh, uh, some rollers have been damaged replaced and uh, but that not the bands there you go there you go you see the vertical little lines in there this, these are all there you go we see we see them all these little lines there this is uh, stress and uh, wear, and you know the the metal's been pounded and rolled, and the, you know stress, uh, you know like work hardened or something, and it's uh, it's a curved curve towards the inside. See the, the wear on this? You see? Oh, they see that good. There they go. That that needs to be changed. So that's why we're uh, doing the job. The advantage of having those uh, wear bands is that uh, you don't have to uh, regrind the ways or uh, the uh, precision surfaces, but uh, you have to replace sometimes those uh, those bands. Uh, <clears throat> this one here, uh, if you can see between these marks, there, there, especially like in this area, though, oh, you're gonna see. I was just gonna say, well, the only thing we can see is your finger. Uh, get, I'll get it out. Uh, you can see some some kind of a chattering or like a, you know it's on the verge of splitting and uh, this is the uh, not the, the worst one but uh, I'll show you even worse here we go um, look at this one uh, I'll just remove the other one it'll be more clear yeah, you can see it well this way I was gonna I was gonna bring the subject slowly. Well, too bad. Okay. <laughs> Get busy. Uh, I got a life. Okay, this one is the uh, the worst one. It's the uh, thinner one too. But uh, you see that uh, force of working, the metal just gets uh, fatigued, fatigue, frail. You know, like uh, crack, uh, prone to cracking and things like that. It means this this band is completely uh, kind of a you know just disintegrating slowly uh, and that's why we're uh, putting new bands a little bit of hand holding now this is the underside of the uh, platter and I'm gonna get closer to the ways this first one here is uh, the, the one that at angle you know, like the 45 degree angle from the uh, normal plane and this one is just flat and I'll get as close as I possibly can to uh, show you see these ways are like impeccable they're like no there's nowhere no uh, no dings no uh, no tracks in that 
this is what the uh, the the wire bands will protect and this V1 let's go this way I think we're getting a pretty good view and you see there that uh, everything is just like brand new <laughs> as a replacement for these uh, these bands uh, we're going to be using some uh, wear resistant spring steel uh, it's 1095 steel uh, let's say a Rockwell over 45 and uh, it comes in the the right width comes in the uh, in rolls like uh, 25 footers or uh, 10 footers or 100 footers uh, rolls so it's available at McMaster car uh, price is you know reasonable enough for the quantity we need and I think uh, we'll get it fast enough so we can uh, go back to work and uh, on the machine and the machine get uh, gonna be uh, rebuilt uh, soon enough yep. what do you gotta say shit are you just there to, to walk around I'm sleeping after lunch. Yeah, I know. Sounds ah, like it. We'll uh, bring you back on the uh, rebuild part. Yeah, that's enough for this. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> <laughs> Too much food. Yeah, we're not even sweeping today. The cleaning ladies are... Uh, on strike. 